Hello everyone, thanks for joining my channel Cloud and Coffee with Namneet. Uh, in this um, video, we are going to learn how you can able to install DeepSeek on your on your laptop. Uh, I've been installing on a Mac, but you can install on your own uh, own P, uh, PC as well. Uh, follow the similar steps. So I was scrolling through the LinkedIn, and maybe even before going there, thank you very much for you know for giving all the all the mm, love to my this video. Uh, and again, I'm a new YouTuber, so um, you know, thanks for providing all the feedback. Uh, so thank you. I, I have created this video for how to deploy DeepSeek R1 model with Amazon Bedrock, um, and uh, and I was scrolling through uh, LinkedIn, right? And I found this video from the Varun, I found this post from the Varun where he showed you how you can able to install. Uh, you know deep seek on on your on your local machine so i was like why can't you just give us a try and uh, i'm sure many of you looking to run uh, the llms on your on your local machines to avoid you know any any expensive cost um, you know running on on a cloud so i thought like you know, why can't we just and just give us uh, why can't we just try out and see how that works so Varun has described all these four steps so i will be looking to showcase you how you can able to work on all this four step and able to install it so first step is definitely having the docker container so docker container think of an virtual machines run uh, within your mac which has uh, all the configurations and os being installed for for any specific purposes so this way you are not, not messing up with your with your mac so it will provide an isolation. Thereafter, we were having this uh, OLLM. Uh, so OLLM is is an open source uh, mm, uh, open source uh, project which allow you to run the large uh, language model locally. And then we are having this open web UI. So open web UI think of and provide a web uh, web interface for you to interact with the LLMs. And means here we are looking to use uh, DeepSeek as an LLM. The first step is to have the Docker container installed. So we will be going into uh, into here and installing the Docker container. I have a Mac, uh, but uh, when you go into the Docker container based on the whether you're looking to have a Linux, Windows, or, uh, or Mac, based on that, you're able to go and perform the installation. We will be installing for the Apple Silicon. You can able to find, okay, what kind of an, uh, you know, uh, what kind of a, um, a chip you have within within your Mac, right? Uh, so mostly it's an Apple, but if you see there's something called Intel, then you're able to, able to analyze that's an Intel for you okay uh, once you have uh, uh, you know once you will be able to uh, install the install the docker then the next step we are looking to go and installing the OLLM. so let's uh, let's see if uh, okay it's taking some time to okay now it's this done good so let me go and let me bring it here okay i've been done i have moved that here it's moving to an application it um, it may take some time okay still running cool so we got the docker container uh, let me uh, open it uh, -R, docker uh, i have opened the docker yeah let's open it So I'm having this uh, Docker container here. Uh, let me delete this one here, that, which was I was running earlier. Okay. So now we are going and uh, installing uh, the OLLM. So here, uh, again, I will be go here and uh, put installation, download. I will be downloading for Mac. Cool. So it's just, again, it will take some time to get it downloaded and installation. So you have to kind of bear with me in this downloadation process. If it take long time for to for us to perform the download, I can pause the video. But for for time being, at least, I don't think this will take so long for at least for for the OLLM to install, right? So here I've uh, been again. I have a two move to my uh, Mac. Okay, I have a another window. It's, it's happening in a, another window, but it's more like you able to see uh, the zip file within the zip file you able to see this all alarm you just have to double click and then it asks you to move to 
to application so you will be having the olm so let's see OLM. let me open it cool okay uh, i will be opening this one anyways so i think uh, you will be able to go and have that installed based on meanwhile let me go and uh, and uh, install this one here so we will be going and installing so let me go and so if the olm is not on your computer use this command so yes it's running in my computer i will go and run this into terminal so let's be go and run that into terminal here is my terminal uh, i will be going and uh, no, make it a little bigger for you so i will go and uh, run it cool so this is done and uh, let me see yeah see here i'm able to see now uh running on my uh, on my docker okay cool uh, this is how much uh, RAM it's required. Like, you know, this is container uh, usage memory and this is much of CPU, etc. So let's go and, uh, yeah. So we will be going and uh, next step is we will be going and installing the DeepSeq uh, from the OLM, right? So I will be going and installing the DeepSeq here. So I will be going with the one point Five param uh, one point five billion parameter here, right? And then I will be going and just simply going and installing it here. Once done, okay, take some time because it's a it's a couple GB of couple GB file, right? So you ensure you have enough space on on your Mac or or on your PC. This way you will not able to have any issues. I will. I will pause here um, so this way I don't think uh, we need to take a pause but uh, or anyways let me go and take a pause it's will be making this video longer unnecessary so I will be pausing and once that will done I will be coming back okay uh, so this is done um, it took some time so now if you are uh, we are here uh, what we're looking to do so this is again uh, when we go into the docker we able to see it is uh, it is running we will be going and uh, opening this one here within the docker let me for you show you let me show you again so if you go back into the docker container you will be able to see like okay this is the port where you're looking to if you see here this is a port which you are looking to run on so if you go and click uh, this is this is how it will be explore the cosmos wherever you are just provide your full name uh, email address and uh, and a password uh, so i will be having this uh, full name email address and password email address could be uh, what was the email address we're looking to see i'm having this social media thing right so um and, yeah. okay so see uh, so see that uh, yeah. so, social media ax at email, no, sorry now uh, social media at, uh, x123 at gmail.com cool create an admin account we're done okay let's get it uh, password okay let's go now we will be having mm, deep seek here we are asking like what you looking to do maybe grammar check explore options trading i don't know maybe yeah let's let's start with this one so options trading run this here so again now you can start working whatever you're looking to do uh, here and again you can able to add any other models as well here so you can start adding adding other models which is being available as a part of it so here it comes as a default and then you have an arena model but again right you, you whatever model you're looking to go and bring it you can able to do that hope you this is helpful for you and uh, again if you find if you like this video please do like subscribe and uh, share thank you very much